If the women in this video were identifiable, we wouldn't use it. It's just a bicycle race in 2017 through the streets of Kabul. But those streets are now controlled by the Taliban and they are after women like these. These women are on the hit list of the Taliban now. Friba Razai was Afghanistan's first ever female Olympic athlete. She now lives in Vancouver and runs a nonprofit aimed at empowering Afghan women as leaders. This week, her work has been about trying to get female athletes out of the country and to hide the ones she can't. Already, she says the Taliban has gone to homes summoning women to Sharia courts to have their character judged because they played sports. If they are successfully catching any of those athletes, they will face severe punishment from the Taliban from lashing to death penalty. Under the Taliban, women and girls are banned from sports. It's not modest, it's too physical and it's too public. There's been a push this week to get female athletes out of the country before they're punished. One of the groups literally pulled out of the sewage trench at the airport and put on planes was Afghan female soccer players. A flight Tuesday carried 75 players, officials and relatives flown to freedom in Australia. An evacuation flight to Spain carried a member of the Afghan women's wheelchair basketball team. Nilo Farbeat and her husband made their way through Taliban checkpoints, past beatings and shootings, and spent two days at the airport. Staying in Afghanistan, she says, wasn't an option. Being a woman in the Taliban regime uh, means nothing. Uh, you are not part of the society. You are just the one you can stay at home and doing nothing. Mina Asadi competed for Afghanistan in karate for a time she ran a gym in Kabul. She says so far the Taliban has been somewhat quiet. She doesn't expect them to stay quiet. Absolutely no. They are never changed. And they are, yeah, they are the same Taliban. This female Afghan Paralympian made it out of the country to Australia this week. There is hope she may even make it to Japan in time to compete in her event. Mike Armstrong, Global News.